Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Kol Loimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashim, Makaka Dash, Double Honor to our Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone who rule well there by the Spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Shah Nanawa. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on. Um, a little bit of this Trump indictment stuff that's been going on. And hey, they talking about, you know, Trump going to have to show up down there in Georgia, man. And, and really, they going to mugshot the guy in the whole nine. So we'll see about that. But there's been a lot, you know, some threats going out, you know, because there's a lot of so-called black women that are in charge of, um, you know, his demise, so to speak. You know, you got the, um, you know... The, the, the so-called black lady in New York, uh, the so-called black woman down in Georgia. Um, and, and, and you got this judge right here. She now I wanted to go off into this because, um, you know, she's been threatened. But there's going to be a lot of threats that's going to go out and there's going to be a lot of shit that's going to happen. And, you know, there's a lot of um, pretty much uh, prejudice tensions going out. It's a lot of so-called black and so-called white on, um, you know, tensions going out in these you know these last days basically and especially you know with that um that montgomery uh ship fight and all that stuff like that see stuff like that is playing out because we're in the last days and it's biblical and just prophetic but you know we want to let our people know you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans you are hebrew israelites and these nations they hate you and living in these last days, the whole fight is about to come to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, a grand finale in a movie, so to speak. Because the Lord is coming back for the children of Israel. And he's coming back to, to, to get these enemies off our ass. And they're going to be, you know, subjected to us and our kingdom. But anyway, I wanted to touch on this. Now, this is one of the judges that's, um, you know, overseeing, um, you know, part of Trump's hookup. And uh, it says, um, Texas woman charged with threatening to kill judge overseeing trump's federal election interference case and there's a lot of people out here that feel like this it says um the woman has been charged with threatening in a voicemail to kill the federal judge overseeing former president trump's criminal case in washington over his attempts to overturn the 2020 election so i mean why you know hey the judge is only doing the job you know what i'm saying <laughs> i mean shit what the judge got to do with the complaints that's being brought before them they, they don't have nothing to do with that it's not like she brought the fucking complaint against trump it says um this lady's name is abigail joe shry i'm thinking of pronouncing that right call the chambers of judge tanya chutkin on august 5th and left, and left a voicemail message threatening to kill anyone who went after former president trump according to the criminal complaint the death threats also allegedly included racist comments against chutkin who is black? Well, she's not black. You can clearly see this lady is not black. Her robe is black. There's no such thing as black people. That's a um, social construct that was made up by the so-called white man. Because there's only different shades of red people on the planet and different shades of um, brown people on the planet. There's no such thing as white or black people. That shit doesn't exist, man. It says, prosecutor said in court filings that Shry called the judge a stupid slave N-I-G-G- er you know what i'm saying the ninja call her a stupid slave ninja in the voicemail <laughs> shry is, ch is charged with transmission in interstate and farm commerce any communication containing a threat to injure the person of another she is being held in detention pending trial according to the court documents and a bond hearing has been set for september 13th so that's i mean people just being that's stupid as hell that's dumb as hell but that's, you know, um, and scriptures talked about the tongue, man, the power of the tongue. You know, it had, the power of the tongue, it has life and death in it. Being angry and sinning not, you know, you, you know, people, you know, it's a lot of shit you can get angry at, but you can't just, you know, act upon it. And especially these days with the type of tensions that's going on. But it's good for ass. <laughs> good for. It says if Trump doesn't get elected in 2024, we are coming to kill you. So tread lightly, bitch. <laughs> Stry said in the message, according to the complaint, you are in our sights. We want to kill you. Investigators said in the complaint that Stry continued her threats in a recording saying you will be targeted personally, publicly. 
your family, all of it. On August 8th, Stry admitted to the Department of Homeland Security special agents that she made the call to Chuckton's chamber, but that she had no plans to travel to Washington, D.C. or Houston to carry out anything she stated, the complaint said. But you're being stupid as hell. That don't make no difference. They're still coming to get your ass because they're, they're not sure if you're going to do it or not. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, um, I know the Apostle Gabar, he brought out, um, he was talking about the 1984 movie where the guy, you know, he got arrested for um, his thoughts, basically thoughts. And his daughter had him arrested. You know, if you watch that movie, it's like a real, you know, um, controlling of the people type of mindset, man, where your ass was either with the government or you if you wasn't, they was coming to swoop your ass up, you know. Um, but anyway, so it's almost like that Minority Report movie, too, with Tom Cruise back in the days where, you know. They was doing like pre-crime and, and it's kind of coming down to that where, you know. With the algorithms that's going on, you, you know, they, they they can they pinpointing people right now. They know who could possibly be potentially a, 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 a damn nuisance out here when it straight comes down to it. When it comes to these elections, you know, they've been narrowing down on, you know, a lot of this, um, you know, this uh, white supremacist stuff, you know, uh, school shooting shit. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on where they're narrowing down on a lot of content that's online. That's why. We do these lessons and we just we go into the scriptures and we let we we read the scriptures. We're not about no violence We're you know, the Lord is going to come and do what he's going to come and do, you know, and that's thus said the Lord. So, don't you know, don't get mad with us. Get mad with the, you know, the Lord, <laughs> his word. Get mad with him, you know, but they have this A.I. They have this um, this deep fake shit. Where they can make it, you know, to the point of making it seem like a person said something or done something or said something that he actually didn't say. You know, so you have to be careful when it comes to a lot of this stuff. But, you know, we already know that, you know, the enemy, he's going to use these types of tactics because he's just dirty as hell and he, he's losing. So he, he could use these types of tactics at any point in the game. But anyway, let's get a little more, it says. CNN has reached out to the public defender's office in Houston that is representing Shry. CNN has also reached out to representatives for Chuckton. Chuckton, as previously reported, security for the district judge had been increased in the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. Shry, according to the complaint, also made a direct threat to kill Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, all Democrats in Washington, D.C., and all people in the LGBTQ community. See? And this is what this is how they're looking at um all you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They looking at you, you as if you're a group along with these people. You 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 know, if, if you have the skin color of a uh, you know, of being brown, so to speak, that you're automatically a Democrat. That's how they be thinking. But there's a lot of so-called white people that are Democrats that hate um um Trump, man. But anyway, I just seen this and I wanted to kind of, you know, just touch on it. I seen it yesterday because it's a lot of, that's going on with that. It's a lot of um angry people out here i'll put it that way a matter of fact since i'm here ecclesiasticus um, 25 let's get verse 7 this is also known as the book of sirach it says there be nine things which i have judged in my own heart to be happy and the tenth i will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy and that's what we're witnessing and it's, it's kind of ironic that trump or you know because the serpent beguiled eve now eve is <laughs> on the head of you know someone like a figure like trump you know a so-called white man that's so prominent in the u.s and and e from all directions is hitting his ass over the head basically so we'll see how it turns out but um i wanted to get this because there's a real matter of fact let's go to the new testament real quick too matthew 12 and 25 and it reads, and Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And that's pretty much what's going on out here. Um, Esau's kingdom is, is, is falling because it's so separated. It's totally separated. It is totally severed. You know? The Lord is putting together the breaches of, you know, the house of David. And he's, you know, um, um, 
pushing breaches, so to speak, on on, on Edom, or, or Esau's Edom's um tabernacle, so to speak. The Lord is breaking them all down, man. You know, I'm at the plantation right now to do something in a sec, so I, I don't want to keep this long. But um, this also comes to mind as well. Let's go back into the apocrypha real quick. So, uh, second address nine. Let me start you nine and one. It says, um, this is also the Apocrypha. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and it was a couple of major ones right here. But see, it's so much going on. You got that, you know, the fires over in Hawaii. You got this Trump shit going on. You got um, all kinds of entertainment stuff going on. So it's a lot of bread and circus that's keeping people's mindset on some bullshit. But it's a lot of stuff that's going on, man. These prophecies are coming to pass. But it says, um, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's going on all over the world. It, and it's going to hit a real, real serious um, point in America because it's coming. It, all it takes is, man, look, they take Trump to jail. They fuck around and throw, if they just throw handcuffs on that boy. <laughs> hey, it's going to be all out craziness going on in this place, man. Because, you know, this place is, is it's a lock here. Like I said, again, I'm at the plantation. I'm going to wrap this up in a sec. But, man, it's it's all out division here. It's all out division. And that goes off in the, uh, Matthew 24 as well. You know, uh, with the kingdom against kingdom, man. Uh, it says... Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So we're in the days of, you know, hey, these prophecies playing out. Now, this is second address. Let's go to um, chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, which is this thing is close. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. So you know that them swords is the modern day um guns. Hey, Esau is ready to civil war it, man. They ready to go out. They ready to get down. And see the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, they're not ready like that. You know, they, they you know they be thinking on this, you know, Democrat this, Democrat that. They don't even understand that Joe Biden is fucking them all over and he's fucking this country up. You they vote for him one more time. It's gonna be over with anyway, which is good. It don't matter. Either one, you know, either one of them, you know. Either one of them that's going to get us closer to our Lord coming. Hey, <laughs> more power to him, man. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw up nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, see, and invading one another. One another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So it's going to come a point where. People are not going to be giving a shit about the mayor, the governor, the senator, the police, the, the you know, the fire department, the damn, um, you know, the the, the, the the damn Air Force Marines. It is, it's not going to matter. It's going to be all out chaos, man. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Hey, these things are coming to pass, man. You know, well, let me uh, let's get this. I get this Matthew before we get out of here. Because Matthew 24, it's got a lot of end days prophecy in it, man. Um, I'm going to get started. Verse three, it says, and as he said upon the Mount of Olives. The disciple came on the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Now, Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, but his name is Yahweh which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he's the, he exists or the existing one in, in Paleo Hebrew. But he he's telling the disciples what's going to be happening just before his coming. It says, "For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. 
See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So the point that I wanted to get was, you know, that, you know, the kingdom against kingdom. Because these people are going to be fighting against each other within this one kingdom. It's coming. It's, it's already it's already popping. It's just going to take one little one little thing. Something as simple as um, them arresting Trump and, and, and posting a damn mugshot of Trump out here. All hell could break loose. Now, well, I'm not saying it. That's me speaking as a man. But anything, you know, it, it's too much tension right now. You got this 2024 election shit coming up. That, uh, these people hate Biden because, you know, they they call him Biden, the, the crime family, him and his, you know, his son, you know, Hunter. I ain't going to go all off into that, you know, but, it, you know, it's a lot of shit going on, man. So we have to um, I did want to get this one too. get end out here. Ephesians five and 15. And it says, see, then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And I wanted to bring that out. Because, you know, when I've seen this about this judge, I, we've been doing lessons to tell our people, be careful when you're out and about, especially our women and the elderly, you know, and the children. Because Esau, Edom, which is the biblical name for the so-called white man, he's very cowardly and he's very, you know, um, conniving, man. He, he, he'll get down on you if he catch you out in public, you know, by yourself, especially if it's at night. That's why we're telling you women, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women, even you men, you know, even you brothers that's out here, man, you just out here, especially if, you know, you're, you're out here and you're not, you don't have a place to stay, you're homeless, you got to watch yourself, man, out here on these streets, because there's nothing for them to come through, ride up and do something to you and keep on riding, man, on some real vengeful, hateful type of stuff. So be circumspect, man, because these days are evil. And the scripture says to never trust thine enemy because they're ready to get down. They're ready to get down. Trust me when I tell you, they're ready to get down. They'll smile on your face at work, but in the backdrop, once they get home, huh, you better beware, man. So just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Shalom.